Good afternoon, I'm Pro. Yes, good afternoon. Hello. Yes, uh, I was uh, calling. Uh, I wanted to find out some information uh, about uh, some shoes that your company named uh, Zyklon. Do you have any information about that? Uh, what would you like to? I can put you through to a secretary in the footwear department. Just hang on a second. Thank you. I'll transfer you to Mr. May. Just a moment. Thank you. Eddie May? Yes, sir. Uh, hello. Hello. Yes, sir. I wanted to, uh, to get a little information from you, if that was all right. Uh, yes. On, on what subject would that be? Uh, well, I was reading uh, an article, uh, and I wanted to know if this was correct. That, uh, your company had named some tennis shoes uh, Zyklon, after Zyklon B. Gaius. Um, we had a football trainer, which was uh, unfortunately coincidentally named uh, Zyklon, which has now been renamed and, and withdrawn. Okay, well, we realized what it meant. Yes, well, you know, Zyklon B gas was uh, used to kill millions of Jews in World War Two. Yeah, we've been we have been made well aware of that since it came to light. Which, it, fortunately, that one. But yeah, at I the just, time, no one knew the uh, the meaning of it. What? So you're trying to tell me your company picked this name out of the f***ing clear blue sky? Get real. I just ask where you're calling from. I'm calling from a payphone. Okay, on from what? organization. It's a brand new organization. It's called Don't Name F***ing Tennis Shoes After the Holocaust, you limey bastard. Okay, well, I mean, we've, we very much regret any, any distress that's been caused. It was a complete uh, complete accident and, and nobody well, I, I meant do. any offense whatsoever. It has been withdrawn. Well, forgive my skepticism, but I find it's impossible to believe that this was just a coincidence. I mean, if I go to the grocery store, I can pretty much guarantee you I'm not going to find Auschwitz peanut butter. Well, I mean, Auschwitz peanut butter may be creamy and delicious, but I don't think you're going to sell too many jars since it's named after a f***ing Nazi death camp. Good afternoon, I'm Pro. Footwear department, please. Matty May? Yeah, Zig Heil. Now, look, buddy, do you have any concept of the idea of bad taste? I mean, this is like a fireworks company naming a bottle rocket after the space shuttle Challenger. Blow up the Challenger. Emit showers of sparks with loud report. Astronauts not included. Kablooey. It's, it's very bad taste. Comprende? As I said, it was, uh, if we had done it deliberately, it would be hugely bad taste, but it was uh, not deliberate at all. So. What was your name? My name's Eddie May. Eddie May, well, uh, my name's Ned. Okay, Ned. And I'm just letting you know that this kind of anti-Semitism will not be tolerated. Uh, absolutely correct, sir. And by the way, what's on the side of your Zyklons? Instead of the Nike swoosh, you got a f***ing swastika? I'm going to end this call now, thanks. Right, well, look, hey, wait, bloke. Good afternoon, I'm Brew. Eddie May, please. Just for Newcastle, great save by this. Sheeran! Oh, it's in! People of Umbro are pretty excited about gas and Jews. Eddie May? Uh, yeah, Octoon Baby. Now, I hate to keep beating a dead horse. Hey, wait, you might want to name a shoe after that. Ned. Dead horse tennis shoes. Ned. But I really don't understand how a reputable company like yours could make such a cruel mistake. Unless it was intentional. Well, uh, I can't imagine what motivation you think we'd have for doing that um, well, deliberately, that... but it was a complete uh, well, that's... unfortunate coincidence, I'm afraid. What's next? You got a line of air Hitlers coming out? I don't know what else to tell you. Perhaps some Holocaust high tops? Thanks for your Did you get... Hello? Good afternoon, I'm Pro. Yeah, skinheads in charge of tennis shoes, please. Matty May? Uh, yes, we seem to have been disconnected. No, I, I ended the call. You were getting a bit abusive, I thought. I don't believe I'd raised my voice at all. No, it was just the content of suggesting that we were Nazis or something like well, that. I didn't really like. Look, Nigel. Don't get your panties in the wad. I'm trying to help you out. I got a great idea for a new baseball bat for Mumbro. Ned. It's called the Fag Basher. Ned. Feel the power of the Fag Basher. Listen, I'm going to put the phone down. Please don't call again. Hey, listen, buddy. Hello. Matty May? Look, I'm just trying to understand. Now, you Brits fall all to pieces when Lady Die kicks it, but when six million Jews get gassed, don't call again. you name a f***ing tennis shoe after it. Matty May? Yeah, uh, I ordered a What Would Mind Fuhrer Do t-shirt about six weeks ago, and uh, it's still... Hello? Nick speaking. Yes, uh, hello. Hello. I did have a, uh, something I wanted to run by you. Uh, uh, just real quick, it's a great campaign slogan for you. Uh-huh. Whether you're running, cycling, or gassing six million Jews... Right. Uh, ...your feet will feel awesome in Zyklon shoes. That's hilarious. I knew you'd love it. Okay, cheers. Cheerio. Pip-pip. Good day.